Welcome to my very first NBA 2K rebuild. Lachlan the Football Fanatic 2612 here. Or oh, for this for this series it's gonna be Lachlan the Basketball Fanatic 2612. And today we are gonna be rebuilding the mighty Detroit Pistons! Yeah, look at this lineup of the Pistons. They got Derek Rose at point guard, Luke Kennard at shooting guard. I was, oh, what's Isaac like Okoro doing at small forward? Surely I should get Sakou Domboya to recognize his potential really soon. As he's get, he should, could be the next Giannis. Blake Griffin's at power forward and at center. We got the man, the Sarunas himself, Sarunas Stepanovic. He's a 99 overall with a potential of 99. The Pistons, they need to develop Saku Domboya. Make him the next Giannis. Make him the next Giannis at Detroit. The Detroit Pistons, they, they've been a they've been a basketball mog since the since that championship they won in two thousand and four. And that was the year they picked Darko Milicic over the likes of LeBron James, Carmelo Anthony, Dwayne Wade, and Chris Bosh. And the Chris Paul's in that draft. Oh man! Look who they also picked Dark over Chris Paul! Man, the Pistons front office have made some bad decisions over the years. Never such bad choice they made. Was it 2000 in the... Well, it wasn't the 2009 draft. They picked up... They picked up Austin Day over Drew Holiday! 2010! Greg Monroe has picked over Paul George! 2011. Brandon Knight over Ken Walker! 2012. Oh, well, at least, they, at least they did get it right with Drummond in 2012. 2013. They picked up KCP over Yardis! What? 2014. They just tried it their first round pick to Charlotte! Oh, well, at least it, at least it'll get better for the Pistons as the Hornets picked Noah Vonley. He only spent one year for them until getting traded. 2015. They picked up Stet. Oh, God. They just picked up the, picked up a defensive headache in Stanley Johnson. Over Devin Booker. Over Devin freaking Booker. What is going on, Detroit? 20... Oh, well, at least they did make a... Although Kadabas decent at the Pistons, but he's no Donovan Mitchell. The jury's still out on him. In 2019, they, in 2018, they picked up. They didn't have a first round pick because that was traded to the Clippers for Blake Griffin. But I won't. Well. For this, one, for this rebuild, I'm going to be saving the Detroit Pistons from the NBA morgue. Crispy Flakes, if you're watching it, if, you're, if your channel or Extra Crispy's channel watches this video eventually, I hope you like this Pistons rebuild I'm going to be doing, as I'm going to be turning the Pistons from the NBA morgue to NBA champions. And in fact, maybe even a dynasty. Don't worry, Detroit. Help is on the w help is on its way. You'll be getting help really soon. I really like this like this pick this kid Kane, Kane Cunningham. I hope he becomes a piston and along with Jalen Green. Or somebody like that. It will be uh, I'll be a good pickup for the 
Detroit Pistons. Anyway, I'll be seeing you at the trade deadline. Well, i got a trade that is being offered. Andrew Wiggins and Derek Gray coming here for Blake Griffin and Derek Rose. Do I want to take it? Um, um, uh, negotiate the trade. At Wiggins and Draymond Green for... Oh, I'd love to see Draymond come home to the Pistons. But there is no way in hell you're getting Derek Rose. How about Jordan McCray instead? And done! Welcome to Detroit, Draymond Green! Welcome home! Well, we have gone past the trade deadline and the Pistons are 28 and 27! Just currently sitting 8th in, in the Eastern Conference right now. Could we do the unthinkable, make the playoffs? We really need to get that K Cunningham pick. He'll be, I reckon he'll be a good fit for the Pistons next season. And as for Derek Rose, well, I just dealt into the Pacers for on holiday. Because he was giving us too many wins. So this season, I'm not expecting to win too many games in the second half of the season because... So we need to get to a... Need to get the D Detroit Pistons back to winning ways in the future. And I'll see you at the end of the season. At the end of the season, the Pistons have won 35 games. It was a poor second half of the season, really. Giannis wins MVP. LaMelo Ball wins Rookie of the Year. Got to override that and give the rookie... Sorotis averaged 29 points a game in his rookie season. Well, anyway, give Sorotis the Rookie of the Year award. Although he had only played just... 37 games! He should come back stronger in his second season. Okunyu, I reckon he'll... Uh, he, he only averaged 12 points a game. Gonna have to override it. And... Aserotis is on the all-rookie first team. In his rookie season. Anyway, for the playoffs... Don't care about the playoffs this season because, well, because the Pistons are not in it. Hornets, Nets, Clippers, Sixers, Heat, Heat Rockets, Lakers, and Bucks go through. The Pelicans and the Clippers in the one conference final. Nets and the Sixers in the other. And the finals, it will be between the Nets and the Clippers. And your NBA champion for this year is the Brooklyn Nets. And Kevin Durant's your finals MVP. Lot bit of a long simulation because of this coronavirus pandemic. Jeremy Pargo's retired. He did come back for a bit to play for the Warriors. Tarbo Cephalosha's finished. Reddick's finished. Haslam's finished. And Gasol's finished. Along with Tyson Chandler. Staff retirements. Bob Weiss retires as Nuggets assistant coach. 
Replace this roll. Uh, shot clock, shot clock, shot clock. Uh, decrease it to 20 seconds. Approved. That means a high scoring basketball coming up. Well, we might just leave it as USA versus Weld. How about the trade deadline could have care one week sooner? It's because of uh, COVID. Leg re well, wait a minute. Well, there's going to be expansion on the way in 2022. With your seat with the Seattle Sonics. Representing Seattle. Representing Seattle. Representing the city of Seattle. They're going to be coming into the NBA. Sorotis will be back for the Mighty Pistons. And I reckon there's going to be a team from Jacksonville, Florida coming in as well. As a new team in the Eastern Conference called the Jacksonville Bobcats. We've got the Bobcats and the Sonics coming into the coming back to the NBA, but this time the Bobcats will be not from Charlotte, they're gonna be from Jacksonville. Also another news. Although this is gonna be a Pistons rebuild I'm doing, the Clippers are deciding well. I reckon they're going to be, de I'll be deciding to relocate at the end next season. They're deciding to relocate to San Diego. Draft lottery time! Oh man, we got the 8th best odds. Yep, we got the knife pick. Damn it! Damn it, we got the nice pick. How about we strike a deal? I might strike a deal here. Well, trade finder. View the picks. Might find a trade offer for the nice pick. To get the first pick. Hornets, Hornets, Hornets. We need a backup point guard. We, we may need Terry Rose here. And here it is! Oh, yes! The Pistons have got the first pick now! Trade fighter with the Pacers, see if we can get the second pick. Um, nope. We're not trading Wiggins for our first. We are not getting Brogdon. Oh, hang on, hang on a minute! We're not dealing our first round pick for this year. We're getting next. We're giving him next year's first round pick, and that means pick one and pick two are going to Detroit. Let's see who will go to the draft. Who will get picked? Oh man, his ceiling is Jimmy Nelson All Star. This falls Drew Holiday out of the league. Might have to turn it from an eighty overall. Tell you something even better. So we need him as Saronis to get firing. We got rid of Wiggins. Let's see if we can bring an in Engram in free agency. Let's see if we can get the money to bring in Brandon Engram. As a free agent. 
Let's see if Cade and Saronis will do the trick for the Mighty Pistons. To get Detroit basketball back to its best. Ceiling Hall of Fame, floor call area out of the league. We've also got the second pick. I reckon we, I reckon Jalen Gray will be a good fit for the Pistons as well. He could be the sharp shooter while Luke Kennard might be six man. Uh, he's only a high scholar. Because uh, he came from overseas. Anyway, it's draft, it's draft time. Welcome to the draft. We're on the clock. We have to get him. Welcome, Kay Cunningham. It will be, De Detroit basketball will be back. Better than ever. Sakudan boy is gonna have to get his gonna get gonna get his ratings up. Second pick. We got Jalen Green coming to the Pistons. Let's sim to the end. Oh what a pick! What a pickup! Kay Cunningham and Jalen Green. Welcome to Detroit. I reckon I'll be the new LeBron. I'll be the next LeBron and D Wade. I'll be the LeBron and D Wade of Detroit basketball. Well, we got too many point guards. In, we got too many point guards in the kitchen. Anyway, we're gonna have to say goodbye to Brogdon and Holiday. We need some help in the small forward position. We need some help in the small. We need a bit of help in the small forward position. Someone who's on an affordable contract. Um, how about we try with Keldon Johnson? Done. Done and dusted. Sakuda boy, gonna have to give him some ya give him Yannis' writings now. I'm gonna have to cheat the system. I'm gonna have to cheat the system. To give him the same writings as Yannis on to Kuptomo. For his third NBA season. I've made him a 95 overall. Not extending Damian Jones's qualifying offer. Forget about Phil Maker. He's useless anyway. Cause Ember one time. Got a bit hyped up to be the MVP way too early in his career. That hop just killed him. Man, that other hop just killed him big time. It just. Burns his career to the ground. Well, for the salary cap, we got. Oh my word! Draymond Green's contract's too expensive. Have to do. Uh, I have to get rid of some contracts. Gonna have to renounce some contracts. And well, Draymond Green's gonna have to leave. Sorry, Draymond. Your your services are no longer required.
Out the door you go. Trying it for Jalen McDaniels. Just trying to save some money at Detroit to get to get a big name free agent like Brandon Ingram. To come to Detroit basketball. We'll give you everything. We'll give you a player option. To come to Detroit. If he doesn't come, well, we might have to trade for him. If the Pelicans decide to match his offer, well, we might have to trade for him. Can we bring Sakub Dubois back on a contract? Yet the Kings are just... The Kings just beaten him! We're just getting beaten by Sacramento! For his services... Renounce rights, renounce rights. What? Come on, we let just some of our players leave. Hold on, hold on. Oh, there's no light at the end of the tunnel. Time to do some trades. Trade, we have to try to pair it. We're going to have to try to pair a seconds to give us. To give us our targets. Give Saku back to Sacramento. Get Saku back and we have to get Ingram to come to Detroit. Done! Welcome to the Pistons! Oh man, how good will this be? This will be the year the Pistons will turn things around. We just create. We have just created a super team here in Detroit. We are buying. Well, we need a bit of more help in free agency. Still only got 10 mil left in the cap. Can we get the GOAT back at Detroit? Can we get the GOAT, Boban Marjanovic, back at Detroit? Look, Kennard. We should, we should let him come back to Michigan to, to, to Detroit basketball. I reckon he'll be a good six man for the Pistons. Kim Birch to come to the Pistons as well. We got the GOAT to add presence to our bench. We got the GOAT's presence on the bench. Um, we're just going to have to sign a bunch of cheapies. We're just going to have to get a bunch of cheapy contracts in to come to the Pistons. So we can't afford to get a, a, some other players on our squad. We're going to have to get some role players or who we can afford. We got our 15 players. This, this rebuild, this is going to be a free season rebuild. To see if we can get the Pistons to win at least one NBA championship before the end of a rebuild. I'm not all that bothered about the 2022 draft because we just traded our pick to the Pacers. Detroit basketball. This is our, this is this is a much up this is a much better lineup. Got Rosier, Kennard, and Calvin Johnson to add to our bench. This start.
starting this starting five here. It looks met right now. Kay Cunningham, Dr Jalen Gray, Brandon Ingram, Sakuda Boyer, Sorota Stepanovic. This lineup looks mint. This is looking like a mint starting lineup now at Detroit. This lineup's got to be, it will be the next, to be like what happened to that, be like similar to the lineup of Torsi Billups. This will feel like a lineup of them mid 2000s Pistons, like bad boys, like the Wallaces, Tashawn Prince, Rip Hamilton, and Chaucey Phillips. This is a proper mint lineup right now. And I'll see you at the trade deadline. Oh my word, what a season it's turned out to be for the Pistons. 48 games, first 48 games, 45 and 3! Wow, what a start, what a season. Let's look at the player stats of the Pistons. Sakuda Boyer, 30 and 7. 30 and 18! 31 and 18! That's the hardest numbers there! Sarunas! 29, 29 points, 13 rebounds, and 19 rebounds, and 13 assists! Oh my! He, he might be. He should be MVP! Jalen Green! Doing this thing with 25 a game. Brandon Ingram's doing this thing with 24, while Kane Cunningham's averaging 22 and 10 this season at the Pistons. He's got the Chris Paul type facilitator, they need. Terry Rozier's doing this thing, 12 off the bench. Canard, 9 a game. Calden Johnson, 5 a game. Svee with 3 points a game. Tom Michael, just 1 point. Damian Jones, 1.1 points. And the others, well, they didn't even average a point. Who's sim the trade deadline? I'm picking for Team Saronis. Saronis will pick Saku. Giannis has got AD. Saronis is going with Cade. Luca wants to play for um, Saronis. LeBron wants to play with Saronis in the All-Star team. Well, for the reserves, Giannis has got Kawhi. Saku's so going with his other Pistons, Tebow, Brad, and Ingram. Trey Young's going on Team Saronis. Devin Booker with Saronis. And what a set what a season that has turned out to be for the Pistons. What a good se what a season this is turning out to be for Detroit basketball. The pissed it's fifty seven. Oh there's seven eight more wins to go to my break. 16 more wins to go to my break Golden State's record. 59. 60. 61. 
62. This piston side can't stop winning. 63. 60. Please make a 64. And they lose to the Lakers. 64. 65. 66. 67. 68. 69. 70. 70 and 4. 71 and 4. 72 and 4. 73 and 4. They've done it! The Pistons have broken the record! They've broken the Warriors' record of 73 and 9. They've won their 70 after they beat the Miami Heat. 77 and 4 now. Last game of the season, the Pistons finished 77 and 5. That is a remarkable season. Sarunas wins his, sec his MVP. Kane Cunningham wins Rookie of the Year. Bol Bol was Sixth Man of the Year on Denver. Sarunas Defensive Player, most improved to Sakuta Boyer. What a year is it? He's having. Dwayne Casey, Coach of the Year. We got Sakuna Boyer and Serena Stabanovic on the NBA first team. On the sec, we don't have anyone on the second team, nor the third team. Saku and Serena on the all defensive first team. Kane and Jalen are on the all rookie first team. And the Pistons are facing the Toronto Raptors in the first round of the of the playoffs. One, two, three, four now. Next round of playoffs. One, two, three. Clay sweep over the Atlanta Hawks. Can they sweep the Celtics? They do it. The Pistons are going to the NBA Finals to face the Lakers. Rematch of 2004. When Kobe and Shaq's careers... Like, that's when Kobe and Shaq's time at the Lakers ended together. When the pit... After... Ben Wallace stopped Shaq from dominating. 2-0 Detroit. Two up in the series we are now. Three games. Oh, 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 <laughs> Three nil Detroit. Another, another win from Detroit. Let's see who will win game four. Sixty to thirty. Oh, oh, oh. I reckon this rebuild end after like a couple of seasons. I can't see the Lakers coming back from this. Not with the kind of scoring the Pistons have been putting up. Th let's jump in. 38 seconds left. The Pistons, 156 to 110. Freedom up in the series. They're going to be your NBA champions. Detroit basketball. Screw you, Detroit. Screw you, hockey in Detroit. Basketball is king. <laughs> Barrett's missed. He makes the second. Sorotis. Cunningham. Sorotis. Oh, that was like his ball. But it's, that's going to do it anyway. Just about. Eight, seven, six. Foul. 
Six seconds left. <laughs> the Lakers trail by 44. And now they trail by 43. That's gonna do it! <laughs> the Pistons are your champions of the NBA! Oh, how about that? What a rebuild! So, what a job of Sarona stunt for this Pistons uh, team! I don't mean to have a wonderful summer now because of it's COVID. Sorotis is your finals MVP. What a series he's had. He's, had, he's lads have had. Swept. That was the best, the best playoff run of all time. 16 and 0 in the playoffs. Ingram got his revenge on LeBron. After the Lakers gave up on him in his third season. How about that? What a revenge move from Brandon Ingram. The Pistons are your champions. Sarunas is your final. Sarunas Stabanovic is your NBA Finals MVP. What a season they've had. One season in, the two seasons into the rebuild, and they've already won an NBA title. That is just unreal. The way these Pistons lads have been playing. And that is just going to do about do it for the rebuild. To all the, if the pit your Pistons fans out there watching this video, make sure you leave a like and hit the subscribe button below. Enjoy. Have a wonderful day.